my name is sushil kumar pare i am faculty in the marketing area based out of mumbai after spending 15 years into corporate and 10 years into academics i am still learning that how people learn the other question i keep on asking myself and to colleagues that how we can enhance learning eventually all the discussion will lead to the pedagogy and innovation today we'll discuss the idea of innovation in pedagogy what is the pedagogy pedagogy is the method and practice of teaching especially as an academic subject or theoretical concept in management education pedagogy focuses upon three things one understanding the concept two analytical capabilities and the third is application orientation why does pedagogy matter as we know the pedagogy is method and practice of teaching it is paramount to know why we are teaching something in a certain way as they say that knowing is the first stage of improving so let us understand the learning first we may be using case study simulation or simple classroom discussion to teach a concept if we know why we are teaching a concept in a certain way it would certainly open the possibility of improvement and in future the quality of learning can be improved understanding the learning today uh, pedagogy refers to the theories and methods used in teaching however in the past pedagogy uh, referred specifically to the methods used to educate children andragogy was coined to focus on the practices used to teach adult as we are teaching adults we need to keep in mind the difference in the learning process in our case the learner is an adult and hence the major differentiator between the pedagogy and andragogy is learner's self concept as the learner is an adult and so the download is not possible and hence the primary objective of innovation andragogy is to motivate the learner so he can achieve a higher possible level of learning thinking and application orientation now choosing the right approach to learning before choosing or designing the pedagogical innovation we need to keep learning style in mind of the learner visual auditory and kinesthetics are the three learning styles any learner predominantly depends upon any one of these method which is basically depending upon any one sensory receiver to create the meaning visual learners would more depend upon visual aids such as chart bar or video they learn through written language reading and writing takes uh, task are the good for them visual learners has has normally two sub channels linguistic and spatial the linguistic would more depend upon reading and writing while spatial would more depend upon the visuals auditory learners would depend upon the listening here the use of socratic method of lecturing by questioning is better these learners draw information from lecture and questioning listening skill is the primary source of creating meaning for these kind of students kinesthetic learners do best while they are moving and and touching uh, it has two sub channels kinesthetic that is movement and tactile which means touch they need activity to focus on the topic and enhance the learning they need support of physical activity to concentrate sometimes they take notes just engage themselves for every style the pedagogical tools are different so the method of innovations let us talk about contemporary scenario today the spectrum of andragogy especially in management is very wide it ranges from classical classroom lectures with or without ict to use of performing arts such as film or drama to establish the concept to facilitated learning the contemporary andragogy divides into the three categories the first is a group learning that is the team project second is experiential learning that is the field visit or internship and the third is constructive learning like research case study simulation and role plays etc these are widely used method to deliver the session having discussed pedagogy andragogy learning styles and importance let us come to the concept of innovation the question is what is innovation the innovation is action or process of learning it is derived from word innovate and innovate means making changes in something established especially by introducing new method ideas 
or products. Why do we need innovation is the major question because job of a teacher is not to teach but facilitate learning and a million dollar question is, is teaching equals to learning? We know teaching is not always equals to learning though for each teaching module we design some learning objectives or vice versa but we know that there is a gap. This is the prime reason we as a faculty needs to innovate. In this way the teaching learning gap can be filled or at least narrowed. The challenge of the teaching learning gap can be expressed with the help of Mirza Ghalib in a better way. He says, Ya Rab, wo na samjhe hai na samjhenge meri baat. Ya Rab, wo na samjhe hai na samjhenge meri baat. De aur de lunko jo na de mujko zubaor. We as a teacher cannot ask for another heart for our learners. It is better to innovate and try to ensure that the learner can understand my language. Innovation is important in this case to ensure that the teaching that is our input is able to enhance the learning that is output. The question is does innovation really help? Yes, maybe or certainly. Let us take an example. You must have used the normal thick blade knife to cut the tomato. You know how difficult it is to get equal and nice looking tomato slices, especially if your wife or your mom is so fuzzy about the shape and size of the tomato slices. Now consider the knife with a serrated edge or a saw like edge. We know it is little bit easy to get the same result that is the nice and the equal tomato slices as compared to the thick blade knife. If you are still looking for a better options then tomato slicer is a better idea in terms of speed and accuracy. Now we know how every innovation is making the job easier and enhancing the effectiveness and efficiency. We have seen with the help of little innovation what we can achieve in the tomato slicing process. Despite the fact that there are many limitations such as the shape of a tomato, size of a tomato or hardness and the sharpness of the blade metal. Just imagine what we can achieve in the teaching learning process because the human brain knows no limit. A dash of innovation can create miracles actually. Let us discuss few of the innovation in this area. The first is a case based learning. Case based learning is a widely used method but the challenge is that the student is not involved. So how to ensure they read before the class, they are involved in the case study. Here one simple technique I have learned from Professor Vaidyanathan of XIM. In this method the students are instructed to carry a one pager handwritten write up of the case study before they enter the class. If the case contains some exhibits then every student then it would be mandatory to present the analysis of each exhibit. However, the analysis of the exhibit may be a 2-3 sentences only but it is mandatory. In this way we can ensure that the student have gone through the case number 1 and they are ready to discuss the case in the classroom. This would certainly enhance the learning quotient. One more thing is use of social handle. The social handle is basically creating a closed classroom on any social handle such as Facebook. Few of my friends are using this method. They create a social Facebook page that is a closed page uh, for, for the uh, classroom and they post the case or the article on the same. Since the generation is a social media savvy, we get good participation and discussion in terms of the quality and quantity. Every participation gets rec recorded hence it is convenient to understand the viewpoint of the student and giving the feedback. Another method is use of learning management system as we know the LMS. The challenge of using social system is, uh, handle is that the professor should be on the same platform. In the same way all the students must be present on the same. All the social handles are in public domain so it is little bit tough to control the postings. Facebook page may be a closed Facebook page. Here the learning management system LMS is the answer to all the challenges posed by the social handle. The LMS is a cloud based software mechanism which helps a faculty to assign grade and return the assignment online. There are several free and paid solutions. This space is dominated by three major players Blackboard, Moodle and Canvas. Google Classroom is the new entrant in this area and getting a good response from the academic community. 
Major reason behind the Google success is availability of all Google features such as Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Sheets and Slide with this tool. It is very easy to create the classroom, assign the task and create the same. The instructor can return even individual assignments with, with the comments and the feedback. Another area is experiential learning. I have learned this idea from Professor Anil K. Gupta of IIM Ahmedabad. He takes a course where he walks around 250 kilometers within 7 days with his student. He walks on any unconventional lesser travel route in some remote area. We have our own constraints. We cannot take 7 8 days to walk in remote areas. Professor Gupta suggested me to customize the same for urban area. We take half day walk in our vicinity. We normally prefer an area with low income group population. These trails are curated and the instructor would assign uh, the students small business models, maybe a tea stall, a dosa stall or a small shop selling medicines. Students are encouraged to find the challenges of these small business owners and the possibility of applying the theory or concept to improve the situation of these business owners. If time permits, the students can go back to these small business owners, interview them and present the observation to the class. Depending upon the availability of the time, the owner can be invited to the classroom to share his perspective. The one more angle is open access resources. Uh, these open access resources is a new innovation and we can use for our classroom to improve the involvement of the student. Courses from these sources are commonly learned as massive open online courses or MOOCs. Some of the MOOCs courses are paid, some are free and some are tied with the universities and available to the enrolled students. Corporate open access sources such as uh, Google Classroom or, or Microsoft Classroom or IBM are good resources. Non-profits such as EDX, Khan Academy, Stanford Online or Peer-to-Peer -peer University adds a lot of value to our classroom learning. There are commercial resources also such as Coursera, Skillshare, Udacity and Udemy. These gives a nice support if a student is willing to go that extra mile for learning. Some courses are even useful for the faculties. Open and free certification such as Google AdWords can be a part of course on social media marketing. These days all top universities such as MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Purdue, IITs, IIMs would have their own online learning platforms. In India, uh, the National Program on Technological Enhancement Learning NPTEL and Swayam promoted by MHRD creating a very good content. Important thing we need to understand that innovation is a function of subject. Whatever innovation we are trying to build in, we are trying to incorporate would depend upon the subject we are trying to teach. This is a crucial aspect or the crucial angle. We will discuss with some example. Uh, let us say we are teaching a sales uh, subject, then giving a practical sales assignment of selling something adds value to the learning. In the same way, role play would add value in the course on negotiation. This is just one example of bringing the real time situation to the class. We can explore other ideas too. In the case of strategy, be it marketing strategy or production strategy, number driven cases or simulation software adds a lot of value. Globally, there are plethora of these games available in India. The Chanakya simulation distributed by All India Institute of Management Association IMA is quite useful. In, ca in case of courses in service operation layout, we can give pictures of amenities needed for a service layout. Students are encouraged to create a layout using pictures of amenities su supplied to them. Take the example of quick service restaurant or the QSR. The number of cash counters, cooking lines, the washrooms may be the required amenities. Students can bid for these amenities, pictures and create the layout using these amenities. In this way, a student would be able to learn the scarcity of the resources and nuances of the service operation layout. The idea was suggested by Professor Shubhdi Pray of IIM Udaipur in a conference. While teaching business to business marketing, especially the topic like impact of information on the bidding process, it is very tough to bring the real life understanding in the classroom. I have learned a nice game from Professor Guru Raj Kidiyur of TAPI Institute of Management. 
he creates a bidding situation in the class. There are various real life situations created by Professor Guru Raj such as company buying transformers or looking vendors for the visiting card printing. A team of student plays the role of suppliers and quote their rate. Choosing, once the student team finishes the quote, the professor would flash relevant information pertaining to that industry or situation one by one. After every information, the student can revise the price. After a few second, a few round of information and revision of prices, the professor would debrief and with the help of little statistical analysis, the impact of information on pricing can be established in the class. At the end, Dennis Morrison, the CEO of Campbell Soup, once said that the innovation requires an experimental mindset. Yes, experimental mindset is the key. We know infrastructural challenges are there. We know we cannot find a panacea or a fixed solution for all type of learning challenges. But one thing is certain, if we are able to develop experimental mindset, we would find a lot of innovative ideas around us. And this would add lot of value to the pedagogy and hence the learning. In all situation, one thing is certain, the students feeling of, I have found the solution is more important than giving the solution. And hence, the aim of all pedagogical innovation should be enhancing the thinking capabilities of the learner and not giving the ready, ready to eat solution for them. Happy learning. Thanks.